I'm feeling great. I, uh, I'm really excited to, to race uh, the long course uh, this weekend. And this is going to be my third uh, long course race. So um, I will see what I'm doing. So this year I decided to, uh, to do short course and long course distance. And uh, so that was uh, my big opportunity this year to race uh, the world. So I'm really happy and it, it's in Europe next to, the, to my place. Uh, I don't feel like uh, being a favorite. Uh, for me, I, I'm a rookie in this distance. So, uh, but I think I can, I can have a, a good opportunity to, to make a podium. But uh, there is a, like really strong athletes, uh, especially on the bike. So I will try to keep uh, following them during uh, that part of the race. The one to watch uh, are going to be the Germans uh, guys and the French guys, obviously. Uh, they are my teammates, but uh, they will be my uh, concurrent too on the, on the weekend. Just so excited to get back out there. I obviously do triathlon because I absolutely love racing, so I've missed it so much and just can't wait to be back out there. Um, well, obviously my background is in a swim, so I always like to go hard there and it's, it's actually quite a challenging swim. We've got currents to tackle, so it's quite important where you position yourself and not going out too hard because you are facing the current on the way out and then trying to use it to your advantage on the way back. And it's obviously a really long transition one as well. So it's kind of making the most of that because you have to run a long way to get to your bike. And um, then the bike itself is pretty straightforward. We're just doing an out and back on a nice flat course. So it is going to be super fast, um, all about being aero, obviously. And then the run is great because it's all around the venue. So I think we've got four laps with a mix of terrain, which normally is the challenge on the run, but it makes it a lot of fun as well. It's going to be a really good race. Obviously, I've got fellow Brit Emma Pallant. I think me and her will have a great battle. Lisa Norden's here as well, looking really strong. So yeah, I just think we're going to have a great race. And like I said, I just, I do love racing. So I'm just excited to be back out there and racing the other girls. So it's quite funny now because uh, being 2022, it's exactly 10 years ago since London. Uh, in 2012, we were also in Kona, Hawaii as a prep camp for the Auckland Grand Final. Uh, and obviously we watched the race and I think we left for Auckland the day after. And now 10 years later, I get to go there to race Kona myself. And that's been a big uh, bucket list race for me to, to get to. And I think that's like one of the last big races on my to-do list in my career that I really, really have to do. So that's going to be super exciting. Well, like just being around here with all these athletes, you know, you see so many athletes that I've known for years and years and years. Uh, I've jumped into, I bumped into Flora Duffy here before and we were both in the BG development team, um, which was 2007 that started, or six, I think it was the first year. And to meet her here, Sarah True, I, I trained with for many, many years. And we were in the same group in London, she got fourth. And Daniela I trained with as uh, under 23. So it's been so many girls and, and guys that I have this long, long history with, which is amazing to, to see here and catch up with. Uh, obviously, Emma Pallant, I think is going to be a big name. Uh, just having me start on the Collins Cup qualification. Also, Lucy Charles making her comeback from injury will be interesting to watch. And then there's like Sarissa de Vries, Manon Janet. There's a lot of strong girls who can make an impact and a difference in the race. Um, yeah, I was a swimmer actually when I started, when I was six years old, I started swimming. Um, did it like as a semi professional till I was 20 years old and then started triathlon back in 2012, um, so it's actually 10 years ago. Um, I started with Olympic distance racing, uh, non-drafting, and yeah, came, I think I raced my first half distance race in Rügen back in 2015, um, and yeah, since that I'm yeah, progressing in middle distance and long distance racing. Yeah, I always look at the start list before a race just to get an idea on like who's racing and what kind of tactics I could go for, but um, yeah, I think in that kind of field and, and especially it's like the overall distance is only 100k. It's not a lot about tactics. I think it's just like it will be a fast race from start to finish. So um, I think it's about like like the shape on the day itself and just how good you prepare to kind of suffer 80k in aero position.